Uh, many, many years ago, let's say in the 60s or in the 70s, this move was considered to be totally innocent because black could play d4. But now, now we know that after e d4, knight d4, white could play even either b4 or even such a strange move like bishop e2 or knight e5. And despite black got some control in the center, its knight on d4 is not very solid. And see, black still is struggling how to resolve the problem with their bishop on c8, because after b6, you know, the c6 square is going to be weak. So both bishop e2 here in this position, and knight e5, and even b4, are giving white an edge. So that's why eventually it was black that decided not to go, not, not, not to push d4, and to look for, for other options. One of them is just to take on c4, but here, after bishop takes c4, queen d1, outside of, a part of normal rook takes d1, uh, followed by castle and e4, uh, which was played several times, and one of the nice games was won by Kramnik against Yusupov in, in, in rapid chess in Moscow in 1995, I think. Uh, there, is also, there is also king takes d1, uh, which seems a little bit illogical, but in fact has plenty of logic because in the end game, when queens are exchanged, uh, the king is normally well uh, um, uh, located in the center. So the e2 square is an ideal square for white's king. And then, if we consider it's an ideal square for white's king, then why to, to bring rook from c1 to d1? Well, we can just put a king uh, king on on e2 and and to bring rook on d1. So, saving time because rooks on c1 and d1 are also ideally located for, uh, for, the, uh, uh, for this um, configuration. Um, so, black, black refrain normally refrains from uh, uh, this endgame. Also, Kranich himself made a draw against Boris Gelfand, uh, uh, playing rook d8 check, king e2 and bishop d7. Uh, but more often, black plays here a6, uh, uh, trying just to keep some pressure and preparing, you know, the, re the retreat for bishop on, on a7. So, and after cd5, ed5, um, mm, uh, black, white cannot take on d5 because knight takes d5, rook c5, knight takes f4, and now you cannot take on e4 because of queen a7 check, but if you take on d8, then probably knight g2 is, 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 is good enough to equalize, bishop g2, rook takes d8. Also, also black black could uh, take on d5 with a queen probably, take with a queen, knight takes d5, rook c5, take on e4, and then probably play even bishop g4, having also sufficient compensation. Um, even, even probably starting with rook e8 check here, uh, and then playing bishop g4, because knight e5, f6 is just white is losing the piece. So, um, after a6, uh, the best uh, line for, um, for white would be to play b4 here. And now, normally black goes on d6, also bishop a7 and bishop e7 are not refuted. The idea is white, after both of these moves, play c5, uh, keeping black pawn on d5 intact, but gaining an advantage on the, on the, on the queen side. And... Uh, uh, Preparing the you know comfortable development, so black's advance in the center is is proved to be too slow. So bishop d6 is the it's uh, it's the main line, and now white suddenly goes bishop g5. So and uh, a, after a5, b5, knight e5, knight e5, bishop e5, c5, another complicated position uh, uh, just occurred, and uh, white gave up you know its uh, position in the center, but. As you, as you could see, he had a big advantage on the on the um, uh, mm, uh, queen side because pawns are advanced, and then black bishop is still on c8. So uh, we can look at number of games, namely again Kramnik and Ant, and a few others. And so far, um, there is no final verdict in this position. Uh, the game is complicated, and uh, uh, for instance, after a4. Um, uh, 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 A4 black black is creating chances or uh, you know uh, related to 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 the queen A5 white must play F4 bishop C3 rook takes C3 then H6 
Bishop takes f6, Queen takes f6, Queen d4, and the yeah, Rook c3. I think it's yes. Um, oh, yeah. Of course, Black is playing a Black is playing e5 immediately. So of course, e5 immediately because now after e f takes e5, Black. Black king goes on a5, and white is is losing its rook, you know, because of the um, pin, and uh, uh, there's no bishop takes f6 protecting the rook. Pawn on e5 already is blocked this 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 diagonal. So after e5, white must take on f6. Uh, queen takes f6, f takes e5, queen h4, g3, queen e4, rook g1, and the position is very complicated. Queen takes e5, queen goes on d4. That's the main line. That's in fact the the game Kramnik uh, Kramnik Anand. And I, for instance, recently I decided to deviate from this line against uh, 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 Peter N. Nielsen in in rapid chess, playing knight e7, which is a very risky approach. And after bishop f6, g f6, I think playing queen a4, he could he could get uh, some advantage. So. Still, as you can see, plenty to find out. This is this. There is no final verdict. There is no uh, clear advice, even from the strongest players, where to go and how to go. So uh, that's probably the beauty of the line with Bishop F4. The positions could be different. Black could play C5 or could play Knight BD7, and there are many many lines where uh, uh, there's still plenty of room for improvement. Just to remind you that big complications could arise in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of, of desert. After knight bd7, c5, c6, b4, b6, bishop d3, a5, bishop a3, bishop a6, there is, there is a white could play b5, uh, then bishop b7, and then pawns on exchange, or white could play bishop takes a6, uh, rook takes a6, b5, cb5, c6, queen c8, and c7. And this position looks absolutely unclear. White's pawn on c7, black has an extra pawn, he just plays eventually b4, white plays knight b5. The number of games were played, uh, no one, you know, uh, has a clue what's the, what's the evaluation of this position. Uh, but, it's again, it's a clear demonstration. It's not about the opening that looks dull and, and quiet and offers very little uh, hope for taking initiative. It's just about the player's mood, it's about their preparation, it's about their uh, way of presenting their uh, opening ideas. There's always room for improvement, there's always room for complications, there's always room for ex 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 excitement, there's always a possibility to play a very entertaining game. So, line with Bishop of Four remains a, 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 remains a solid weapon for white to uh, deviate uh, from the traditional uh, Queen's Gambit declined um, simplifications. And in on, but on the other hand, it offers Black extra opportunities to make sure that they, they are not just fighting for, uh, for equality, but they could be also uh, um, a side to fight for initiative as well.